everybody. Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Grand Piano AUV32. So uh, Pablo Lopez, the developer, has released another one. This is, you can see, it's made with audio kit. I think it's $4.99. Um, okay, so I quite like this. I like the other piano he did as well, and I also like this synth. I thought they're okay. Um, it's not the greatest sounding piano in the world. Okay, you know, there are better sounding pianos. This does some nice stuff though, because of the amount of control you get over the piano. You have a uh, main volume control there, self-explanatory. Then you have a tuning. Now, obviously it's Pablo, he's, uh, English is not his first language, so it's tuning, but it's tuning. It's chorus is, is C-O-R-U-S, but like, you know, this is just little things. It's how it sounds and what you can do with it. The most intriguing thing about this app for me is the ADSR envelope. You don't often get so much to control over that on a piano, you know. Piano is a percussive instrument, basically. Now I made the, I've just been making a few patches. This is called Light Chorus. It has a chorus, it has a filter, which is also nice. It has auto pan and it has a tremolo. Now the, the thing with the tremolo, if we go into a full screen mode, and we look at where it says wheels, we can choose vibrato for the mod wheel. Which is, gives it this weird kind of drunk feel, which is I quite like. So I'm not at the moment applying any other effects at all. It's Mars Capone. I'd like to say hello to everyone who's here as well. Hi Vortex, hi Steven. Hi, Mars Capone. Hello, Joe. Hello, Colin. Hi, Wall. Wall, I promise you, my friend, we would not sell the CBG guitars. I'm selling my other guitars because I don't need them because I've got my Steinberger and it's great. Uh, but wouldn't sell your CBGs. They're not really, they're completely different. I don't like my acoustic. There's no need to worry, my friend. Jamie Malander is a Jamie Mr. Malander. I think I've said hello to everyone. Aud audible video. Stephen. Hi, Josh. Hi, Thomas. Nice to see you, my friend. So... Well, we can assign it to tremolo as well, or tremolo as I like to say. Tremolo, here. Now this also gives it kind of this like really nice spooky vibe, it's great. So, we can, we can come off this, we don't need to see the keyboard. So, here's the thing which is also nice. We could set it like, actually, if we needed to get to our settings and things. I put, like, there's a, there's a stereo widening thing, which, like, oh, that's all right. Uh, so. Okay, seems to be seems to be back okay, I think. Um, um, as long as I'm back now, that's fine. Anyway, so the stereo thing, right? In case anyone didn't hear it before, we can do this. Seeing it splits the two, it's really nice actually. So that's quite good. Right now, it's gonna be pretty boring just watching this. So what we should do is we'll zoom out a bit. And we'll, we'll go in so we can see the keyboard. So you, you know the interface. It is what it is. I'll just fix this now. So we can see the piano keys and kind of adjust everything so it all looks kind of central. I'm not, just 
I wish everything was electrical and I had it all on motors. That'd be really cool, beans. Um, don't worry, guys. I'm going. I am going to fix it. So I'm thinking. Yeah, it needs to come up a little bit. Okay. So I think that'll do. That'll do. And maybe just lower the light a bit on that. That's better. Okay, so now we can kind of see the. The thing that's better. Uh, you'll you'll be a bit more entertaining watching me play than it will just watching the app. So, so I programmed a few patches. Program patches is really easy. If we do this, like I've added the stereo wired into my chorus, my light chorus patch now. So I'll add stereo widening. And then I'll hit the little icon here and where it says like chorus and then I will just obviously wait till that goes away and then just put, I'll just call this stereo. Uh, did I spell it right? No, I don't think so. Can't see the thing. It's weird. Stereo. And I'll call it stereo wide. Let's call it stereo wider. And it's right. So save. And now save that patch. Now I've made a few patches as you can see. I've made one called Hammer Horror. How rustic. I can't make this any darker otherwise I won't be able to see it. I wonder if... Um, if I have night shift on that'll make it better for you to see. Maybe it will. first one I made was this now again you see this this is lovely this takes use of the ADSR on our pianos we don't normally get that so that's really nice It does a little bit more than ordinary piano apps do. It's quite nice and you can experiment. I, I sometimes find as well with apps like this that you think, oh, do I need another piano? You probably don't, you know. If you've got loads of pianos, haven't you? But you think to yourself, well, what can I make it do that normal pianos wouldn't do? And this does quite a lot. This is, you know, you've got your tremolo, tremolo, tremolo. <laughs> Which is lovely and then I made one called Doug 2 as well this is before I started thinking hang on a minute I could actually name these that'd make more sense wouldn't it this is lovely this is this is very um it's very string like of course pianos are string instruments but this is and of course we've got a sustain as well which means that we can sustain it more than we normally would a, a normal piano Hi Ross, how are you? Now, like I said, we've got a filter. Filter is super handy. For instance, if I go to my hammer, uh, my light chorus instrument, I have. No, f no filter engaged. So, so we have to put it in in the mix. However, so sorry, I did have a filter. It's a bit of a bug in the screen. 
So we can use the filter as a tone control. Make it nice and dark, and with the with the with the reverb, we have the size kind of about there, and mid quite high. We get it like in a so kind of in it's in, in a it feels like it's in a room. It, it doesn't feel like a reverb, if you know what I mean. But if we take the reverb off altogether, let me do that. I'm just going to do my head in. Let me fix my keys. So, which is nice, but the reverb is actually quite good if we put it quite high in the mix. It's not a bad reverb. And let's add some. With our mod wheel, we can do the tremolo. We've also got some auto pan. Tenly mix the reverb down so you can hear the auto pan better. Hi, Chris. See? That's quite good. That's, I mean, that's on. You might not want it that much, but. record some bits and pieces just for fun I'm gonna freeze this after actually I'll open it up because I haven't used it in multiple so we'll just we'll open a couple of them to see what happens but let's just record something what, what's the tempo 120 we'll record eight bars so I'll just record something in a minor as per usual because it's my favorite <laughs> <clears throat> And we'll do a bit of overdub and see what see what see what we come up with, eh? Okay, that sounds okay. It's, it's 
and there's more or less it's kind of default piano so we'll, we'll try and make something with that but we'll, we, we can now i'm gonna give ourselves the flexibility of being able to add other effects because i want to so i i will make a little bit of adjustment here so i've got a sustain pedal but if i don't i don't need the sustain pedal because i've got an envelope engage our filter see now because the filter is fully closed and the mix the filter mix is full we're not going to hear it so we open the filter and it, so we have a really nice control over the entire tone i'm gonna i'm gonna put that on and i'm i'm not gonna i am gonna put on some black hole so and then when i've recorded this section i'll i'll probably freeze that one up and too because i'm not really sure what's going on with it's not bad it's nice uh okay so it's, it's quite nice isn't it it's quite i quite like it it's quite lovely you know but i think what we'll do is we won't do anything like busy like that i i want to put um a, 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 a black black hole onto this here um so and maybe do i want any more eq oh, probably not uh not for now let's see where is it where is it here we go See, it's beautiful. And I will go in now and see if I can. Oh, that's lovely when you put that in. Right. It's really nice. So before we go any further, actually, I should just click that. I'm gonna just copy and paste this um, this one, and I'm gonna hold, uh, just hold this, and we can start to record our little melodic section from there. Um, okay. That was that one, this is this one. So let's go to a mixer. Turn down that a tiny bit. Hope you can hear me okay. If, if I'm too quiet, just say I can always turn it up, but I don't want to go uh, too too loud, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see. So we'll go to the. And now we'll just have a mess. That's not. Oh, shut up, Stephen. <laughs> Smart ass. Right, let's see. Uh...
that's like really quite nice, quite pleasant. Let's see. Um, let's add another one before I do any freeze, and let's see if I can get away with adding another one in. Let's add MIDI. <clears throat> Audio, you're not. And here we go. It is. Okay, so I like my second patch that I made. And I might do a bit of messing with that. Let's just see what I played. I don't know. So now I can Yeah, and we we I think I'd like something on the as well. Let's add in a let's add in adverb. go with I'll tether instead so if we can find that where is it uh, it should be here oh no it'll be under FAC won't it boing well oh, please are there um, I'm, no I'm gonna stick with I'll tether because I'm that's gonna be really nice for that uh, there we go and it, it's nice but I think um I don't know, let's see. Rainbow musical maybe. Take the you take the feedback back when El Tether gets out of control. Just use the feedback here and take it back a little bit. If you're ever wondering why El Tether's gone mentalist, um, right? So it's really loud. So let's try and record this. Um, please, uh, yes, please strike the like. That'd be much appreciated. Let's go back to here. May do I want to record? No, I don't need to do that, do I? I can just copy the MIDI. Right, so um, let's see. I'm going to arm it anyways. So. It's 
so that's that's quite a nice effect with all that Altether on there. So we could, I yeah, we could. I guess we could make then some arrangement decisions. I suppose. Did I save? I don't need to save in. Uh, don't need to save in Cubasis. It saves itself. But uh, yeah, no, I didn't. So, but I don't need to. I can't. There's no way to save. Uh, it just just saves the session, you know. The way everything should be. Just so just save. Just save it. Just save it all. Uh, I well, this is a good. This is a good. This is a good question, isn't it? Well, will it remember everything when I close it and open it up? So we'll we'll see if it does that, shall we? In a moment, after I've uh, done some adjustments. So I I don't know. It might. It might not. You know, it's a brand new app. I'm sure that Pablo will fix the, the if there's any bugs or anything he'll fix them. You know he's all right. He's not. He's not a. You know he's a nice chap. Anyway, so let's see what we can do. Let's go. Okay, so we can select all three of these, and then we can let's copy and paste them. What I don't know to right. Let's copy and paste these. Uh, paste. Oh, hang on. Um, that's in, ah right. I know why. Let me just undo that. Let me just copy them all and paste, paste. And I'll paste them all, actually, I will paste them all this amount more times. And then we can unselect them all and we can start to reduce the actual, we can start to reduce the arrangement. So meet, meet, meet its maximum there kind of thing. And then we can just reduce it back down. But I want to reduce it back down to this nothingness. So for the first one, for this one, we can erase. And then we can choose to erase this one and this one. Uh, no, sorry. I will, un let me just undo that again. I'll keep that one there. And then for this last one, I will erase that one and that one. And then we're just left with this. And then let's just copy and paste. And I'm gonna move this one along. Oops, I'm gonna just gonna make sure I'm okay. Just this one, I'm gonna move. Okay. Sounds orchestral. I'll tether on that. Now, I think let's give it something to really think of. Let's duplicate this whole thing here this whole track and we can go into select and select this 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 and also this and we can just erase those and then on this second one I'm gonna put uh, other desert cities um, 
if I can find that quickly. Uh, and not other desert cities. I'll put a U. I'll put. I'll put. Um, I'll put something else on there. Maybe. Um, uh, I want to. Where is it? Um, um, I'll put. I'll put police a police one on there. I'm gonna put a police reverb on there. Okay. So I'm not really sure, right, how this is going to sound. So I'm just going to. I'll just get a reverb that I like. Actually, that's quite nice. I'm also going to put on something else, I think. So. Um. Yeah, something that's going to kind of wash So now after it's done this this kind of thing So now we're going to see if it's actually, <laughs> if it actually saves it all. I bet it don't. Right. Anyway, so let's, so we, we well, let's close, we'll close Cubase. Uh, what's it called? Now this is just called project. Let's close, close it out. Oh, please God. <laughs> you never know. Otherwise, otherwise I'm going to have to, well, I'm not even going to bother. You know what I mean? If it doesn't save it, it doesn't save it, but it'll, that'll be a bug and he can fix that, you know, because we know about these state saving thingies right so okay so let's go wash you bases <laughs> well it's it's loaded all the instruments in um i i, I don't know if it's oh god we just play it eh? so far so good <laughs>
it all bl it, it bloody well saved everything. <laughs> Brilliant. There you go. What can you what can you say? What, what more is there to say? It's very nice. System info is DSP was running about thirty percent ish, thirty four percent ish as CPU two percent to one percent. Now it's silent because there's nothing running at all. So yeah. Um, And without having to freeze anything as well. So I mean, I, I'm I'm quite happy with that. I think that's really good. There is a link in the description if you want to check it out at the App Store. If you're a patron, you know we're running the, the thing for that at the moment as well. Um, I think the headphones are caught up on my chair, so hang on a sec. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Oh, it's all going wrong. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. So. Anyway, there you go, guys. Thanks very much for joining me this evening where we took a look at Grand Piano AUV32 from Pablo Lopez. And um, quite nice it is, too. Yeah, it's not bad, is it, Wally? It's not bad at all. I, what I like, I do like about it is the. Um, if we if we just quickly add another one I want to show you a couple of things um I like the control that you get um I mean it's done a it's a it's a passable piano if you use it inside uh, you know in a mix you wouldn't want a solo piano You know, inside a mix, it's quite nice. But what I like, like you said, what what I like about it is the the control. You know, the tremolo, the stereo -ness. It's very easy to get a nice sound. I do like the chorus, although you can go quite. I mean, even with this, if you keep the frequency low, you'll get an. You can go quite mental. So the chorus is very, very, very good. It's very sensitive across all of its parameters. Very nice. I like it. I, I mean, of course, the developer sent it to me for review, but I only review the apps that I actually like, and I, I'm, I'm quite taken by his apps. I think they're quite nice. Um, they, yeah, made with the audio kit engine. Oh gosh, it's Ricky Yorn in here. Um, The reverb was, it's also quite nice as well. If you run the mix full, that's, that's really quite lovely, isn't it? Couple that with the filter, mix the filter on, and you've got absolute total tone control now. Give it a little bit of extra top end with the with the resonance. pan of course and tremolo which we have actually set to if we go in settings for this patch we can choose our um, for the wheels of tremolo for the wheel so 
So I think it's pretty nice. Good. And then, of course, you can apply as many effects as you like, you know, with your own effects. So there you go, guys. I will play the little uh, track ditty thing again um, while you say ta-ra to each other. Let's try and run this so you can see it um, in the mixer. And I'll leave the uh, actual system info there so you can see it. And, uh, yeah, awesome stuff. I shall do this and we can zoom in again just while we're looking at the last part of it uh thanks very much gang uh hopefully we'll see you tomorrow with something else who i don't know yet um but yeah awesome stuff very cool thanks again thanks as always thanks so much for joining me this evening when we took a look at this grand piano auv3 by pablo lopez 4.99 on the app store i think that's the sale price so it's it's quite yeah well it is what well, we're gonna watch now aren't we so what have i got running here i've got five of them open four of them doing summer and then i've got a load of effects i've got some black hole i've got some altepa uh or some other bits and pieces going on i've got a let me just have a look at my insert effects so different channels um let's see we've got a, a bleach reverb bleach delay studio eq running on that one though we have a black hole on that one though and we have fac al tether on that one so we've got quite a lot going on uh let's look at the mixer as well while we're doing it let's leave the system in over there so we can see it bless you all guys i will see you all tomorrow Hey, Peter, how you doing, matey? <laughs>